Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you how to write a VHDL code for the arithmetic and logic unit. So, arithmetic and logic unit from the previous two videos, we have explained how, what is arithmetic and logic unit, which is a combinational digital logic circuit that performs arithmetic and logic operations, but it is a basically it is a multifunction device. It is a multifunction device which performs several operations depends upon the type of uh, uh, input called select line okay it needs one or two operands and this is the logic symbol which has two inputs and one output actually along with these we also have few outputs carry generate carry propagate and compare it to output carry output and these are the functions and this is the truth table which we have seen in the last two videos and coming to vhdl code vhdl code can be written in both uh, behavioral style data flow style or structural style but uh, for writing structural code in for alu type of uh, 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 devices it is very difficult because they, they are having uh, multiple functions if you go to the truth table see here the truth table you are having several operations multiple functions are there such type of multiple operations performing in the structural uh, using structural code it is very difficult because they are having multiple operations and internal structure itself it is difficult that's why such type of uh, uh, arithmetic and logic units must be considered using behavioral model behavioral model is the best way to represent any type of logical function with conditional statements okay so here i am taking a behavioral model let's see i am writing a behavioral code behavioral code another thing is reducing reducing the selection line selection pins to selection pins to 3 that means s2 s1 s0 reducing the selection lines to 3 pins only and i will tell you what is the truth table i am going to perform here see writing we are writing the code for this particular truth table because the previous one is very larger one even if you write you cannot understand that's why i am reducing it to the main important uh, functions where the arithmetic and logic unit can perform so output function f now when you are having the selection lines only three they may be go from three zeros to three ones sorry zero 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 one zero one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 okay now triple zero output is zero only four zeros f not two f three and for zero zero one we are performing some arithmetic operation like this and log again a minus b minus 1 plus carry in a plus b plus c in and a xr b a plus b it is a b and last one again four ones okay now we are going to write the vhdl code in behavioral model for these type of operations okay So first we know very well first one should be started with library i triple e use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all one one six four dot all as we are performing arithmetical operations we should consider another package use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore unsigned unsigned 
dot all this package is very important when you are performing arithmetic operations but uh, that means any, any negative operations are coming then you definitely should use this unsigned now coming to entity arithmetic and logic unit is Port of A comma B, port of A comma B in STD logic vector, STD logic vector of the size of A comma B operands are 3 down to 0. So 3 down to 0 and the selection line we have now reduced it to only 3 bit. So STD logic vector of 2 down to 0 means 3 bit and carry in C in in std logic it is a single bit and function f is output mode std logic vector which is a 4 bit operation so 3 down to 0 so these are the inputs and outputs for this ALU. So end ALU. And now coming to the architecture which describes the behavior. Architecture ALU underscore behavioral of ALU is begin begin so as we are writing in the process as you are writing in the behavioral model definitely we should consider process so process of yes comma what are the instances yes a b and c all these are instances which changes the output based on the input combination so begin case yes is because based on the yes corresponding operation is performed case yes is when triple zero case yes is when triple zero implies f is assigned with four zeros okay just now we have taken a truth table according to that truth table we are writing this okay not the original truth table zero zero one implies F is assigned with B minus A minus 1 plus C in. And when 0, 1, 0, F is assigned with A minus B minus 1 plus C in. When 0, 1, 1, when 0 1 1 f is assigned with a plus b plus c in and when 1 0 0 f is assigned with 1 0 0 so a x r b so a x r b and when 1 0 1 F is assigned with A or B. When 1, 1, 0, F will be assigned with A and B. When the last case must be written as when others. When others, F is assigned with all ones. End case end process end architecture sorry and ALU behavior I think ALU ALU underscore behavior okay these are the different steps we should incorporate when we are using uh, ALU these are the main steps actually we can perform lot of other operations also based upon the previous truth table 
but we the main applications are arithmetical operations in this b minus a minus 1 like that and uh, logical operations are and gate or gate xr gate like these operations if we want to add any other operations instead of using triple four ones and four zeros there also you can perform those operations okay i have just sorted out only few operations the remaining you can add if you want it depends on the increase of the number of selection lines okay thank you